Hello, hello, good evening. Good night, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. How are you? How are you tonight? Hi, thank you. And you? I'm okay. Thank you for asking. I'm fine. Ready, yeah, ready. Okay, my name is Ever Nieto, and it's nice to nice to meet you, all of you guys. It's a pleasure to be with you tonight. Thank you for your punctuality. And today we're going to start learning a lot of things, right? So are you ready for the module uh, beginner two? Están listos para el módulo principiante número dos? Yes, say yes, yes. if you are ready. Yes. Yes, okay, excellent. Yes. Good to know, good to know that. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine. Please repeat okay. your name. My name is Ever Nieto. Ever Nieto, so you can call me teacher, you can call me Ever, you can call me mister, no problem. No problem with that. So, how do you want it to be called? ¿Cómo quiere que lo llame? Like, Mr. Jonathan, Mr. Julian, Miss Silvia, Miss Karen, or oh, yes for your name. How do you want to be called? Is it okay if I call you for your name? Or my name? Ah, okay, yeah. thanks. For my thank name. You. Ah, okay, thank you. For, for my name. Okay, thanks a lot. Okay, I want to know if you have already entered to the platform. Me gustaría saber si ya ingresaron a la plataforma, si ya tienen acceso a la plataforma todos. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. 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 Uh, alguien tuvo algún problema. Yes. It's very difficult. It was easy. 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 Okay. Just for if someone has a problem, solo por si alguien tuvo algún problema, I'm going to show you this. Okay. Let me know, please, if you can see my screen. Me confirma si pueden ver. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, mister. Thank you. Second, I'm going. Yes. Okay. This is the first page you found. Esta es la primera página que encontró. So, aquí tenía que escribir su email, ¿verdad? Your email, and here is your password. And then, you are going to enter to this page. Beginner 2, ingres principiante, módulo 2. And here, you are going to find five sections. You have here five sections, section 1, section 2, section 3, section 4, and section 5. So in every section, you are going to find this. Let me see, we click on the topic. My sister works downtown. That is the name of section number one. And here you are going to find a set of exercises, videos, and also you are going to find the objective of every lesson. Look at this, for example, lesson objective. 1.0. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for talking about transportation. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates this topic. That is the first goal. Then you are going to find a video. You are going to find this video. And then you are going to find another objective another video, and then you are going to find the exercises. 
These are the exercises you are going to complete in the platform. Aquí vamos a encontrar los ejercicios que usted va a resolver. Here are the instructions. The instructions are in English and also in Spanish. Complete the sentences with the correct verb forms. And you can find the instruction here in Spanish too. And then you start solving. Usted comienza a resolver. Es importante que tengamos en cuenta la puntuación y las letras mayúsculas en algunos ejercicios en los cuales tenemos que completar, ¿verdad? que tenemos que escribir. Asegúrese que sea el apóstrofe y no el acento que utilizamos en español. ¿verdad? Tiene que ser el apóstrofe, tiene que poner atención en las letras mayúsculas para que la plataforma le acepte sus respuestas. Do you have any question about this? No question. Bueno, mencionarles que usted puede trabajar la plataforma y puede avanzar en ella cuanto usted desee. Por ejemplo, si hoy, digamos, tiene tiempo libre y puede hacer la sección 1, la sección 2 y la sección 3, no hay ningún problema. There isn't any problem. Usted puede resolver tantos ejercicios como pueda, avanzar ¿verdad? en la plataforma. ¿Cuál es la nota mínima? ¿Cuál es la nota mínima para aprobar este curso? Ocho. Oh, así es, ¿verdad? El 80% de la plataforma. Ok. Pero eh, nosotros vamos a llegar al 100%, ¿verdad? I am sure that you can do it. Estoy seguro que usted puede. You are a great student. And you are going to get the 100%. Usted va a obtener el 100% de todos los ejercicios y de toda la plataforma. And let me show you something more. Aparte de las cinco secciones, ¿verdad? Donde tenemos objetivos, videos y ejercicios. There are two evaluations. Hay dos evaluaciones that you have to complete. And the first one is the midterm. This is the midterm exam. Este lo vamos a completar la próxima semana, ¿verdad? Cuando ya, en la próxima semana, en la segunda semana del curso, vamos a tener que completar el midterm. It has six questions. Tiene seis, ¿verdad? Tiene seis ejercicios. Okay, look at this. This is the first one. Este es el primero. And you are going to solve it. Y aparte del midterm, we have the final test. Let me show you. At the end of section number five, you are going to find the final test. It is it. Final exam. Final test. Y si usted quiere ver cuánto ha progresado en la plataforma, usted se viene acá a esta parte que dice progress. You click on it. And you are going to find this. Usted va a encontrar esto, ¿verdad? Y acá van a ir. Aquí va a poder ver eh, cuánto hizo en la sección 1, homework 1, homework 2, homework 3. And here is the meter and the final exam. And you are going to see here your total. Cuánto lleva, ¿verdad? Y that's it. Do you have any question? Do you have any question about this part of the class? No. No, teacher. No questions. Bueno. Entonces, desde el día de hoy, ¿verdad? Usted ya puede empezar a trabajar en la plataforma. Como le mencionaba antes, no hay un límite de que tengo que cubrir la sección 1, la sección 2. Si termina la sección 1, inmediatamente comienza la sección 2 y no hay ningún problema. Puede trabajar en ella cuanto quiera. Además, si al final de una sección usted obtuvo el 70%, el 80%, y usted dice, ah, el 80% me piden, así lo voy a dejar. Um, no hay ningún problema si usted regresa al ejercicio y corrige y corrige el, eh, la pregunta o el ejercicio que salió mal. 
igual la plataforma, ¿verdad? Él le va a modificar la nota cuando usted modifique ese ejercicio. Entonces puede hacer los ejercicios cuantas veces necesite o cuantas veces usted quiera para practicar. Recuerde que entre más practica, mejor, ¿verdad? Much better. So, any question? Do you have any question? Preguntas, preguntas. No, Yo tengo una teacher. consulta, ¿me escucha? Dígame, Marvin, what is your question? Uh, I can uh, open to a star session. You can open the star session. Do you mean up the platform? Eh, no puedo entrar a, para iniciar sesión. Eh, ah, ok. Tiene que escribir su correo y la contraseña. Okay. Recibió el correo de confirmación de inicio del curso. Ahí están esos datos. Ah, ok, perfecto. Si el problema continúa, eh, escribe en el grupo de WhatsApp. Y con gusto yo le ayudo. Escribe su nombre completo. Perfect. Y yo la ayudo. Scarlett, do you have any question? Una consulta. En este no vamos a tener así como un link donde está como un libro como en el anterior que vamos viendo como lo que vamos a ver en la clase y todo eso. En este programa el único material de ayuda que tenemos es la plataforma. Ahí en la plataforma hay videos explicativos que usted los puede ver, ¿verdad? Um, las veces que usted quiera. Entonces, ese va a ser el, ah, okay. nuestro material de ayuda. Y también la presentación de las ah, clases que se las voy a estar compartiendo en el grupo. Ah, bueno, está bien. Gracias. My pleasure. Any other question? Uh, good, good night, good night. I have a question. Tell me, what is your question? Uh, my question is uh, in Spanish. <laughs> ok, no problem. Fíjense que yo, yo no he ingresado todavía a la plataforma porque acabo de, de, de ingresar a la computadora porque estaba descargada. Entonces, eh, y también ese grupo de WhatsApp, eso lo quiero preguntar, ¿a qué grupo de WhatsApp se refiere? Creo que todos se, se unieron, ¿verdad? Creo que ustedes mismos eh, les mandaron un enlace en el correo de confirmación y ustedes se unieron al grupo. ¿Es así? Uh, es, no. Yes, yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. 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 yes, mister. Ok, thanks. Entonces, un Beatriz, enlace de WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Sí, tiene que revisar en el correo de confirmación que recibió de inicio del módulo y ahí va la información. Ahí está el link del grupo de WhatsApp. Solo le da clic, unirse y ya va a estar dentro del grupo. Ok, lo voy a buscar porque solo tengo los enlaces de la, de la meeting y los enlaces, las contraseñas, eh, la forma para entrar a la plataforma. Bueno, entonces quizás al correo, dice usted que lo han mandado. Sí, eh, lo mandan al correo. Ah, bueno. Gracias, ya lo busco. Ah, ok, look at this. Thank you, Karen. So Karen is sharing the link of the group. Acá ah, puede okay. copiarlo o darle clic y ya va a poder unirse. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. Thank, Thank you, Karen. Thanks a lot. Any other question? No. No questions. Yes, give me a second. Just a second. I want to show you something. Give me a second. What is that? Okay, just a second. Here is the presentation of today. Mm -hmm. 
Bueno, antes de comenzar, quiero presentarles algunos requerimientos también ¿verdad? que nos exige el programa. Y el primero de ellos es que debemos de participar en todas las sesiones virtuales. Eh, desafortunadamente no hay permisos, ¿verdad? No hay permisos. Tiene que estar presente en todas las... En todas las sesiones virtuales. Ahorita les... Me confirma si pueden ver la presentación. Let me know if you can see my screen, please. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Mr. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes to say welcome again. Yes. Welcome, welcome to this course. This is beginner to course. And here are some requirements that we need to accomplish during this course. And it's number one. Su nombre completo según su duty, ¿verdad? Cuando ingresó a la plataforma Zoom, tuvo que registrarse con su nombre completo de acuerdo a su DUI. Encender su cámara durante la sesión. Minimizar el sonido ambiente, ¿verdad? No estar donde haya mucho ruido para no interferir con los demás. Para que todos podamos escuchar de una buena manera. Participación activa. Your participation is important in this class. So you have to participate, right? Every time you have the chance, say, yes, teacher, me, I can, I want, I want to participate. So, asistencia al 100% de las sesiones virtuales, como les mencionaba. Es necesario cumplir con el 80% de tareas y evaluaciones en la plataforma. Esa es la nota mínima. Las tareas y evaluaciones las va a encontrar en la plataforma. No se le dejan tareas aparte, solo en la plataforma. Ahí es donde tiene que practicar, eh, ver los videos, resolver los ejercicios. Puede equivocarse y corregir sin ningún problema. Si usted se equivoca un ejercicio, escribe en el, o da problemas un ejercicio, usted escribe en el WhatsApp y dice, mire, tengo este problema, no me acepta la respuesta y yo estoy seguro que está correcta. Entonces, revisamos juntos, ¿verdad? A ver qué es lo que está pasando. Y corregimos sin ningún problema. And don't be afraid of mistake. We all are learning. In this class, no se preocupe si usted se equivoca. In this class, don't be afraid. No tenga miedo de cometer un error. Eh, a veces nos equivocamos en una palabra, por ejemplo, la pronunció mal. Y ya no quiero participar. No, don't be afraid of mistake. We all are learning. Todos estamos aprendiendo. So don't worry about mistake. And remember this, the more you practice, the better you get. Entre más practique, mejor va a ser. If you want something enough and work hard to get it, your chances of success are greater. Si de verdad queremos um, algo, ¿verdad? Y trabajamos duro por eso. Eh, las oportunidades de tener éxito son mayores. So in this case, we are going to work hard to accomplish the 80% of the platform. Vamos a luchar, ¿verdad? Por obtener ese 80% en la plataforma que nos permite obtener nuestro diploma al final del curso. So do you have any question? No, teacher. No. no question. Then let's start no. with the class. No, teacher. Yes, second. Bueno, entonces comencemos con la clase del día de hoy. Yes, give me a second. Okay, here we go. In today's class, we are going to study the present simple. El presente simple. This is the present simple tense. That is the topic for today. We are going to learn a lot of things today about this topic. 
So please, do you know this better? Do you know the following verse, dry, take, walk, and write? Do you know the meaning of those four verbs? Dry, for example, what is the meaning of dry? Yes, you are right, thank you. Dry, the meaning of dry is conducir, manejar, take. What's the meaning of take? Tomar. Tomar. Walk, what's the meaning of walk? Caminar. 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 And the next one is write. What's the meaning of write? Write. Manejar. Write is to montar. 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 And we use this word in the following phrases to answer the question, how do you get to work? How do you get to work? ¿Cómo va usted al trabajo? ¿Cómo llega usted a su trabajo? How do you get to work? And I have these eight phrases. Drive, walk, take the bus, take the train, take a taxi, take the subway, ride a bike, and ride a motorcycle. Look at the following examples. How do you get to work? I try to work. The second examples, how do you get to work? I take the bus to work. So let me know how do you get to work? ¿Cómo llegan ustedes a su trabajo? How do you get to work? I take the bus to work. Take the bus. Okay. I Any... take the, bus for the work. Jonathan, can you please repeat your sentence, please? I drive my car to work. Okay, I try to work. Any other answer? I take the bus to work. Thank you, William. I take the bus to work. Any other answer? I, I drive to I work. work. Thank you, Julian. I try to work. Any I other take, answer? I take a taxi. Thank you, Mario. I take a taxi. I take the bus. Thank you, Maria. I take the bus. Any other answer? I take the bus. Thank you, Silvia. I take the bus. The last. Take the bus. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you, Carla. I take the motorcycle. Oh, in that case, I ride. I ride a motorcycle. I ride the motorcycle. Teacher. And yes. When when we use cab. Oh, oh, cab is just a synonym of taxi. So you can say I take a taxi or I take a cab. Uh, okay, I can say a taxi or cab. Yes, you can use both words. Taxi or cab, no problem. Okay. If, okay. Any other question of this part? I take the subway to work. I take the subway to work. Okay. Pregunta, teacher. Yes, tell me. So, la diferencia entre ride y, y drive se refiere al medio, al medio que usamos también. Yes. We utilizamos ride with a bike and with a motorcycle and also with a horse. I ride a bike, I ride a motorcycle, I ride a horse. And drive is conducir. I drive a car, I drive a bus. Okay, thank you. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Right no is the meaning uh, aventón? No. Ah, give me a ride. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. right. but that is, um, how can I say this? It's informal. Um, give me a ride. It's done uh, aventón. We can use. Yes, we can use say that. Give me a ride. Okay. That I say, good. I say, I say very, very time. I say, I want ride. 
<laughs> yes, it's common, right? I want to write, give me a write. Ah, okay, okay. Thank okay, you. in formal we say take, take me home, take me to the hospital, take me, take me to the shopping mall. Ah, okay. Okay. okay, let's Thank continue. You. Okay, let's start with the simple present. And we are going to study the affirmative statement or the affirmative sentences. What we are going to need. Que necesitamos para hacer una oración en presente simple. We are going to need this, a subject. We need a subject. ¿Qué Hi. puede Subject. Eh, ¿Qué puede ser un sujeto? Puede ser a person, an animal, or a thing. Eso puede ser un sujeto, ¿no? Una persona, un animal, o una cosa. Then we need a bird, un verbo. And we're going to need a complement. So this is the structure we are going to use to make affirmative sentences. Look at this example. I live in San Salvador. What is the subject in that sentence? I. I. What is the verb? Live. Live, okay. I live in San Salvador. ¿Quién dice esa oración? I live in San Salvador. Yo vivo en San Salvador. Okay. De los que estamos en la clase, who live in San Salvador? And I'll say, I live in San Salvador. I live, I live in San Salvador. Salvador. Oh, I there are many of you. I live in San Salvador. I live in San Salvador. Okay, thank you. You work every day. You work every day. You work every day. You yeah. is the subject. Yes, work. I working oh, every you're, day. You, you work every day. Are you working in this moment? Okay. No, no. I work every day he is yes. in class right now okay he, he is paying attention to the class so you work every day and uh, you is the subject work is the bird and every day is the compliment then i have this other one he walks to school he walks to school el camina a la escuela who walks to work quien camina al trabajo Teacher, yes. Uh, why is s he walks and now he walk? Okay, that is an excellent question, and we are going to discuss it right now. Look at this other example. She takes the subway to work. Yes. Both he and she, both are third person. Ambos son terceras personas. Por eso agregamos una S al verbo. Thanks. Okay. Thank you for your question. And thanks for the answer too. Thanks. That is third person. I have another example here. You try to work. <laughs> Now the question is, ¿Por qué you aparece dos veces? Who knows the answer? Yes, it's el, el, el plural try. She try se refiere a, a ustedes en plural. Right. Yeah. Thank you. You is singular, tú. Y tenemos you mm -hmm. que es plural. Us, ustedes, ustedes. Mm -hmm. So you work every day, tú trabajas todos los días, and you try to work. Ustedes conducen al trabajo. Look at the next one. We use the train service. We use the train service. Nosotros, ¿verdad? We, nosotros. And then we have they use the public transportation. They use the public transportation. Yes. ¿Cuál es el pronombre que hace falta? I have I, you, he, she, you, we, and they. But one is missing. Uh, they it's, are. It's, 
Yes, it, it works. As you can see, it también forma parte de la tercera persona. So look at the next. Look at this. He, she, and it. Third person. This is the third person of singular. Es la tercera persona del singular. Y hay algunas reglas para agregarle S al verbo. ¿verdad? Como vimos anteriormente en los ejemplos anteriores. Walt, stays and works. Acá vamos a ver esa explicación. A la tercera persona. To the third person in English. In general, we add S to the verbs. En general, a la mayoría de verbos vamos a agregarle solo una S. Look at this example. Work, eat, swim, and write. Work, eat, swim, and write. Do you know the meaning of those verbs? ¿Conocen el significado de esos verbos? Work. Yes. Trabajar. Uh -huh. Eat. Excelente. A esos verbos en tercera persona solo vamos a escribirle una S. He worked, she worked, it works. Let's see the other exception. Los verbos birds ending in O, S8, C8, X, S, S, and we are going to add ES a los verbos que terminen en SH, CH, X, O, SS. We are going to add ES. And we have this. Wash, watch, kiss, mix, and go. A los verbos que ten tengan estas terminaciones, que terminen en estas letras, we are going to add ES. And yes, we have another section. Los verbos que terminan en una consonante. Los verbos que terminan en una consonante con Y. Vamos a borrar la Y. We are going to delete this. Y vamos a agregar yeah. IES. IES. Look at this example. Study. Study. Spy. Fly, cry, and try. And the verbs ending in vowel plus Y, we are going to add just S. A los verbos que terminan en una vocal más Y, simplemente vamos a agregar una S. Play, say, and buy. Buy. Teacher. What is uh, but only when it's affirmative. Uh, can you please repeat? <clears throat> the S, uh, sorry. Uh, this is really is only affirmative. It's statement. Yes. We are going to use these rules just in affirmative sentences or affirmative statements, as he said. Okay. okay. So do you have any question about this? This is the moment. Ask question. Ask a question. Teacher, yes. why the SP? What is? In SP. Spy. 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 Mm -hmm. Spy. Which one? I couldn't listen, sorry. Spy. 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 Oh, spy. Is, ah, this spy. word. A spy. A spy. This a spy. A spiar. A spiar. Spy. Thank you. Okay. Now, that is in the case of affirmative sentences. Now, to make a negative statements or negative sentences, we are going to use this. Subject. Auxiliary, don't or doesn't, bird, plus a complement. So look at the example. Number one, who wants to read these examples and say, I don't live in San Salvador. I don't live in San Salvador. I don't live in San Salvador. I live in Casaltepeque. Okay. 
that is a good example. I don't live in San Salvador. I live in, I live in Cuscatlan. So you don't work every day. You don't work every day. Look at the next. He doesn't go to school. She doesn't take the subway to work. It doesn't work. We don't use the train service. You don't try to work. They don't use the public transportation. So look at this case. We are going to use don't with the following with the following personal pronouns. So you say, I don't, you don't, don't. we don't, you don't, and they don't. And we are going to use doesn't with the following. I get my second, I'm going to raise that. We are going to use doesn't with he doesn't, she doesn't, and it doesn't. Oh, so what is where don't come from? Don't is a contraction. Don't is a contraction of do not. Doesn't is a contraction of does not. So don't, do not. Doesn't, does not. We are going to use don't with I, you, we, and they. And we are going to use that thing with he, she, and it. Okay, a volunteer. I need a volunteer to read these examples. Who wants? Who wants to participate? Who wants to participate? Repeat the question, please. I need one volunteer to read the, the sentences. Who wants to participate? Only read. I Pueden levantar su manita I digital, can. please. Put your hand up. Only read or I make a center. Just read, just read the example. Can you? Okay. Thank you. Uh, I don't live in San Salvador. Uh, yes, I live in San Salvador. Okay, in your case, you live in San Salvador. Thanks. The next one. Why? What? Sorry, what? Can you please read the next example? You don't. Ah, okay, I don't. I don't work uh, in. <clears throat> And, and week, can we? I don't work on weekend. I don't uh -huh. work. On I don't weekend. work on weekend. Okay. Okay. I excellent. Don't work on week. On, on weekend. Okay. Another one. Can do it, please. Okay. I can do it. Okay. Help he me, please. He doesn't. He doesn't work to school. Thank you. The next one. Who wants to read the next one? She doesn't take the subway to work. Thanks a lot. The next one, please. Who wants to it read the next one? Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Thank you. We don't use the train service. Thank you. Who wants to read the other one? Drive you to don't work. drive to work. Thank you very much. And the last one. They don't, they they don't, don't use the transportation. They don't use the public transportation. Thank you. Let's let's practice this. We're going to do some exercise in the next slide. So you get my second. Here it is. Let's practice. I'm scramble the following words to make a correct sentence. Look at this. I have the word dry school I and two. What is the correct sentence? Can you dry order? school? Thank you. I try to school. I try to school. Number two. She takes the train. She takes the train. Thank you. She takes the train. Number three. 
My, my mother, mother and I want to work. My mother and I want to work. My mother and I. No, my mother and I. Work. My mother and I want to work. Work to work. Okay. okay. I work. I want. Okay, we're going to see the answer work. later. And my mother. Mother. He, he works, he works near, near here. He works near here. He works near here. Near here. Okay. The next one. John Wright. 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 Right. Okay. <laughs> John rides a motorcycle to work. Motorcycle. Here are the answer. You can see the answer. Number one, I drive to school. Number two, yes. she takes the train. She takes the train. My mother and I work to work. He works, he works near, here. near here. John rides a motorcycle, a motorcycle to work. Teacher. Yes. In the uh, my mother and I work, and that is not a third person. Si lo pasamos, and el sujeto es they. In this case, el personal pronoun, the personal pronoun is they. Y con they no utilizamos tercera persona. Porque es mi madre y yo, ¿verdad? Nosotros, sorry, es okay. nosotros. We. We want to work. Hey, oh, that's why we. That is good. Okay. It's to we, we, my mother and I, we, nosotros también. Uh -huh. No. We want to work. Entonces no es tercera persona, ¿verdad? Es plural. Mm -hmm. It's plural, you are right. Okay. Okay, now write correctly, done or doesn't, to complete the following sentence. So you have to choose if the answer is don't or the answer is doesn't. Let's see. Number one, don't or doesn't? Don't. Doesn't. 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 Don't. He's done. Katia, don't take the bus to work or Katia doesn't take the bus to work? No. Katia doesn't. Doesn't. Is there a person? The, the third person. Uh, that is the answer. Katia doesn't. Katia doesn't take the bus. Hace falta el verbo. Okay. Yo se lo voy a agregar para que vayan en la presentación. Katia doesn't take the bus to work. Es tercera persona. It's third person. The third person we use doesn't. What about the second one? Done. Done. I don't, I don't, don't ride a bike at the work. I don't ride a bike to work. I don't, I don't ride a bike to work. I don't ride a bike to work. Number three, my brother. My brother doesn't. 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 What about number four, Melanie and Marisa? Don't. Don't. Yes. Don't. Don't take the subway. Melanie and Marisa, don't take the subway. The next one, Kevin. Kevin doesn't work. Kevin doesn't work. Yes, you are right. Kevin doesn't work. So I have Katia doesn't take the bus to work. I don't ride a bike to work. My brother My doesn't brother ride doesn't a car to work. Melanie and Marisa don't take the subway. Kevin doesn't Kevin work. Doesn't work. El da, el, el do y el does eliminan el ponerle S o no al verbo. Como yes, auxiliar. la tercera persona va en el auxiliar. Acá el auxiliar es do, pero como va conjugado en tercera persona, utilizamos das. 
Das, Entonces la tercera va, persona va en auxiliar el verbo y el va verbo tal va, cual. va tal cual. Yes. Ok, thank you. Okay, we are going to. We are going to fix this. So we have Katya doesn't take the bus to work. I don't ride a bike to work. My brother doesn't drive a car to work. Melanie and Marisa don't take the subway and Kevin doesn't work. Do you have any questions about this exercise? No question? No question. No, not sure. Let's look at an example in a conversation of simple present tense. And it says, nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her work here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation, the bus or the train. The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Any new word in this conversation? Any new vocabulary? Vocabulario nuevo? I remember, I don't remember uh, Downtown or Downtown? Downtown is the center of the city. It's the center okay. of the city. That is Downtown. Suburbs? Okay. Suburbs. Suburbs. Um, it's the, the house that are out of the city. Son las casas que están fuera de la ciudad. Que generalmente las personas tienen que viajar de los suburbs to the downtown to work. Tienen que trabajar de los suburbios a la ciudad a trabajar. Any other work? What is an example of negative sentence? What is an example of negative sentence in this conversation? Pero. Well, then, say the sentence. But they don't drive to work. Thank you. They don't drive to work. Any other? Negative sentence in this conversation. The train doesn't stop near a house. Thank you. The train doesn't stop near a house. What's the meaning of that sentence? But they don't try to work. Okay, that is another example, but they don't write to door. I need two volunteers. Who wants to participate? Two volunteer, please. Who wants? Who wants to participate? They both or they. Dos voluntarios para practicar esta conversación. Okay. Marvin. The bus on the train. I am Jackson. I Who am is Ashley? Ashley? No. My Ashley. Okay. okay. Perfect. Ashley. Nice car, Jason. Is your? No. It is my sister. She has a new job and she tried to work. Is her work here in the sub suburbs? No, it is downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. They bus 
or they train? The train does stop near our house, so they take the bus. This rally is slow. Dav to bad. Thank you very much. You did a great job. So, guys, how do you pronounce this word? Let me show you. Word. Just a second. How do you pronounce this? Suburb. 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 How do you pronounce this phrase? How do you pronounce this phrase, guys? It's really slow. It's really slow. Thank you. How do you pronounce this? This phrase. They use public. They use public transportation. They use public transportation. Marvin Romero, do you have a question? Do you have a question, Marvin? Teacher, uh, my my number is Nelson. Uh, Nelson? Yes. Uh, but I can see Marvin. I don't know why. Okay. <laughs> yes, your name is Marvin is... Romero. Marvin Romero. I don't know. I, I am Nelson González. Aparecen como cuatro Marvin, cinco Marvin. <laughs> sí. Okay, so you are Nelson. Nelson. Es que han puesto el mismo correo, quizás todos. Yeah, I don't know what happened with this. I'm going to investigate I don't know tomorrow. Too. Okay, so you are Nelson. Yeah. Bueno, um, they, mañana. They are brothers. <laughs> They are siblings, okay. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Marvin Romero, say you your, may... your face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you may... both. It's casualty. <laughs> you may share Marvin. the presentation on, on group WhatsApp. Yes, I'm going to share it with you and also the link of the video. So don't worry, taking notes. I'm going to share it with you. Okay. okay. Cuando yo okay. levanto la mano, aparece Marvin Romero. <laughs> but my name is René Merlo. Um, I don't know what happened. I hope tomorrow you appear with your name. If no, we are going to do something about that. So don't worry. Don't worry, Nelson. I am Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> I am Rene. Okay. A, a, a picture, a picture with when boy with class. baby. Okay, I'm kind of busy, right? I'm kind of busy with this. Sorry. Are you so, Okay, so. This is the last topic we're going to study today, irregular verbs. And we have this, tenemos estos tres verbos, have, do, and go. Do you know the meaning of these three verbs? Have, yeah. of, tener, have, tener, do, do hacer, go, go ir. Ir. Okay, and do you know the third person of these three verbs? What is the tercera persona de estos tres verbos? I... Has, does, has. got. Uh -huh. Excellent. Okay, we're has, going to see this in this example. Oh, look at this. Uh, I have a car. We do our homework every day, and my parents go to work by train. In these personal pronouns, with they, we are going to use, lo vamos a utilizar en esta manera. We are going to use the verb in this way. Have, do, and go. Entre la tercera persona, que es he, she, and it, we are going to say has, does, and go. My father has a bicycle. My mother does a lot of work at home. Karen goes to work by bus. 
So that's why they are irregular. Have. Has. That is has. a third person. Do. Does. 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 Go, goes. 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 And we're going to use them in the following examples. My brother has. Uh, who wants to read the first one? Listen, my brother has a motorcycle. Carla does. My brother has is correct. Yes. yes. Carla does. Carla does. Yeah. Is correct. Night. Is correct. Is correct too. Yes. yes. Okay, let me tell you that all of them are correct. I forget to add the animation here and that's why the answer appears, already appeared in the interesting. So my brother has a motorcycle. Carla does her homework at night. Kenny and I go to the park every day. Peter and I have a car. You go to work by subway. They do exercise every day. Every day. Okay. Do you have any question about these three birds? No questions? No. Okay, then let's practice. This is the final practice for today. How do you get to work? Who wants to answer this question? How do you get to work? That is the first question that we studied or we learned how to answer tonight. So how do you get to work? I take a taxi. Thank you. Any other answer? I take the bus. I Thank you. I take the bus. I drive my car. I drive my car. I take the bus. Any other answer? How do you get to work? Nobody work? I, I ride to the motorcycle. I ride a motorcycle to work. I drive, I drive to work. Motorcycle. I drive to work. I ride a motorcycle. Next question. Can you mention three transportation means? Subway. Subway. Motorcycle. Motorcycle. Rain. What is the meaning mean? Means. Uh, Rain. Medio de transporte. Transportation okay. means, esa frase significa medio de transporte. Can you mention three transportation means? Pueden mencionar tres medios de transporte. And then you oh. say bus, subway, uh, train, taxi. car, car, uh, bus, bus, bicycle, 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 taxi, bus, train, taxi, car, bike, plane. Yes. True. Taxi, bus, motorcycle. I was, I was confused with means. I think I think we, that means uh, was the or thinking. Um, no, <laughs> in this case, no. <laughs> Esa palabra también tiene significado. What's the meaning? Uh -huh, Ese el verbo uh -huh. significar. What's uh -huh. the meaning of practice, for example? Uh -huh, uh -huh, okay, practice thanks. means practical. And, pero en esta frase sería medio de transporte. Transportation okay. means. Okay, I confused. I was uh, confused. Okay, but now you are. In. So tell me the third person bear phone rules. Do you remember that? Yeah. Rules. Third person bear phone rules. Do you remember son of them? For example, when I saw the birds in the O, G, X, uh, we add as washed and kisses, mm. kisses, 
We are uh, E F E F. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. That is one rule, right? To the verbs that end in S S X C H S H and O, we are going to add E S. Like kisses, watches, and washes. The other rule is that for most of the verbs, we are going to add S. Para la mayoría de verbos, vamos a agregar S. Para los verbos que terminan en consonant plus white, we are going to delete Y and we are going to write IES. IES. Those are the rules. Okay, so any other question? Do you have any other question? No. No. Bueno, then I want to say thank you. Yes? Teacher, no es de la clase ya, pero fíjese que yo no puedo ingresar a la plataforma. Me too. Porque pongo la clave, porque pongo la clave, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, que dice, pero no ingreso, pongo mi correo y no ingreso. La, la clave genérica. Ok. Um, si gusta, me dice su nombre completo para poder averiguar qué sucedió. Teacher. Fíjese que yo tenía ese problema, pero, o sea, cuando me quise registrar en la plataforma, solo ingresé el correo, la contraseña genérica que ella dio, y después al correo ellos le mandan un link donde usted entra y abre la plataforma. Ah, ok. O sea que tengo que, uh -huh. ya ingresé, no puedo entrar ahorita, pero luego entro al correo y ahí sí. Ajá. Vaya, voy a probar. Ya le van a, le van a ahorita quizás no se lo van a mandar, porque yo lo hice eso ayer por la tarde y me lo mandaron ahora en el transcurso de la mañana. Ah, ok. Voy a esperar vale. mañana entonces. Bueno, si en un caso mañana no tiene acceso a la plataforma, escribe su nombre completo y su correo, por favor, en el grupo de WhatsApp. Y yo con gusto voy a averiguar, ¿verdad? Para que le den su, sus credenciales para que pueda entrar a la plataforma sin ningún problema. ¿Any other question? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? No, no, no. no question. Bueno, entonces solo recordarles lo de la plataforma. Please keep working on those exercises. Eh, continúe trabajando en esos ejercicios, ¿verdad? You can start. Usted ya puede comenzar a avanzar lo más que pueda, ¿verdad? Vamos, a, vamos por ese 80%. ¿Ok? Hay que okay. conseguir el 80%, que es el mínimo, ¿verdad? Lo ideal, el 100%. 100%. Okay. Teacher, 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 me puede repetir su nombre, por favor. Ever Nieto. Ajá, es que solo dice inglés corporativo su, su, oh, yes, su imagen. Right. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, but Ever Nieto, that is my name. Ever Nieto. Y otra consulta, esta, esta presentación que nos ha dado hoy, la clase de hoy, va a estar en la plataforma o, te, o debemos de ir tomando nota. A dos, uh, dos. <laughs> <risa> no da tiempo para tomar no, no, no. Yes. Ajá, no da tiempo por eso le digo sí es que el tiempo es, es el tiempo es bastante corto we have a short es que time si notamos no participamos teacher yeah so don't worry I'm going to share I'm going to share the presentation uh, in the WhatsApp group ahí okay. les voy a compartir y también el link del video ok ahí va a estar ese sure. material yes The class are every day. From Monday to Thursday. From Monday Thursday. to Thursday. De lunes a jueves. De lunes a jueves. Así que el fin de Gracias. semana comienza el viernes. Del descanso. O sea, es de lunes a jueves. De todas maneras, el viernes nadie se iba a unir. Le hice click. Oh. The Friday is free to all. Porque es viernes y el cuerpo lo sabe. It's Friday sí, and the body yeah, knows yeah. it. So. Ok, I so... Work, I work in the constancia. <laughs> bueno. Ah, y nos okay. comparte una del... Creo que mensualmente le regalan, ¿verdad? Exacto. Bueno, pero, pero cuando le toque soda, por favor. Ah. <laughs> 
Bueno, ok. Thank you guys for your puntuality. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your participation. Thank you. Say, say I you hope tomorrow. to see you tomorrow. So have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Nice to see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. It's finished. Yes, do you have any other question? No, no, good evening. I see you more tomorrow. Okay, good night. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Bye bye.